to go now. So, without further ado, I guess Meg has just abandoned us. So, it's just me and you now, Yuki. I think Meg's abandoned us. No, there will be no audio issues tomorrow. I hope. Okay. So. Kicking off in... Kicking off for real. In three, two, one, and let's go. Another fucking Mario game! Oh! Are they making another Mario and Luigi RPG? Without Alpha Dream? Oh, that's a kick in the balls for Alpha Dream. Like, that company went... The, Alpha Dream is the company that used to make these games. And they went bankrupt like a year or two ago. And everyone thought Nintendo would step in and save them or whatever. Because, you know, they were good for making these games for them. And that just didn't happen. So a bit of a kick in the ass for Nintendo to be like, Eh, we don't need you. We'll make our own Mario and Luigi game. So, yeah, that's a bit of a kick in the pants. I love this art style in 3D, though. I do love this art style. so expressive but jesus like what that's three oh peach luck demented there there was there was no life behind those eyes she was just a mannequin so what we got the mario rpg remake mario and luigi brothership we got the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door remake, and now we get a brand new... Um... I'm way louder than the video? Okay, cool. That will help me not get copyright claimed by all the, uh, actual music. So that's not awful. I'll lower the mic down a little bit, but... Um... Brothership, though, that's an interesting title. Oh shit, I was meant to pre order this. <laughs> I forgot this was a thing. The collector's edition for this is probably well sold out now. From lightning fast beats to action packed battles. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the online leader. All right. Is the audio better for you guys now or? Challenges. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Stuck on a legend challenge? Yeah? Okay, Check cool. Classified information for handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Put your skills to the test in survival mode, where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. You've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? Nice. Nintendo World Championships NES Edition launches on Nintendo Switch July 18th. Pre-orders for the digital version are available now on Not Nintendo eShop. A month from now? Yeah. Cool. The 
final battle of fairy tale is about to begin. Oh, another fairy tale game. Okay. Happy. Relive the climactic Alvarez Empire arc from the hit anime fairy tale in this action RPG. Set in the vast kingdom of Fiore, Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. Engage in real-time battles and unleash powerful attacks that fuse different kinds of magic like, based on who's in your party. I've never watched this anime, so... Work together with your teammates to Like, I, I, I have enemies. no, um... Yeah, I've never watched this anime, so I have no, like, opinions here, one way or the other on this. Koei Tecmo making another anime game? I mean, it makes sense. You know? I guess the first one did well enough to justify- Oh, Fantasia? It's finally getting off Apple Arcade? From Final Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi and composer Nobuo Uematsu comes the turn-based RPG Neo Dimension. Fantasian. Is this a sequel? The world is or is it the same game? Of its civilization. To restore his memories, Leo so, must confront an evil entity threatening all mankind. What I love about this game is that um the like the the levels you, you can see them here they look like warhammer boards because they basically built these mini sets and dioramas and scanned them into the game and then just put the characters around it so that's why everything looks like super realistic around them i think it's a really fun idea the more enemies there are the more you can wipe out in one shot but if this is finally getting off apple arcade and into you know like a wider console release that's super fucking cool that's super fucking cool fantasian neo dimension launches on nintendo switch this winter this winter okay another sport is coming to spoko Square. so it's only around the corner really oh i i Basket thought this was out already a free update to nintendo switch sports uh, fair enough. <laughs> I thought this was out already, but pass. Sure. And shoot. In two on two matches using motion control. Like they've already said there's no mention of the Switch successor in this direct, so you know, I don't really have any balls to the wall expectations for this direct, or you know, I'm not gonna feel let down if they don't show off like Breath of the Wild 3 or something, you know, something silly like that. But um, I do wonder if we'll see Metroid Prime 4 though, or if we'll get like an update to be like, it's still in development. Here's Metroid Prime 2 and 3 HD to keep you busy. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? This looks cute. I love the art style. Like the hatch shading on the like the cables there. This is really nice looking. The design is adorable. I want one. Like a Figma or a or something or like just a little like a pop up parade thing. That is adorable. Okay. Like a Metroidvania type game, I guess. Neo, Memories in Orbit. 2025. Jeez, that's a ways off. It's an array of cartoon classics. Leap into a new update for Disney Illusion Island. Oh, it's an update. I was like, didn't this come out already? Oh, I see Sylvie in the chat. Hello. In the brand new adventure, um, Mystery and Monarch. Uncover hints and evidence scattered throughout the world. Then use the dashboard to crack each case. What big secret lies at the end? Start sleuthing because this free update launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Ah, fair enough. Island Yo! Adventures Await. A new Sanrio game? 
customize your character. Then befriend Hello That's Kitty, so cute. Karomi, and other familiar faces in this Wait a minute. adventure. Let's go. With your new pals to solve Are we finally letting Let's Go play with the rest of them? Hello Kitty Island Adventure. We are. We're finally letting Let's Go play with the rest of the Sanrio characters. I'll buy it just for that. Wacky sports game. Play as Bugs Bunny. Dappy like Mc like McDonald's just had their Yu-Gi-Oh Sanrio crossover event thing, right? And I'm like, where the fuck's the Let's Go one? Levels and up to four it's like they try and keep them separate because like watch out for thematics and whatever but tunes, wacky world of sports crashes onto nintendo switch so what's up, that's uh, not my interest in this game that's that's what's up emergency meeting New ah the trailer that spoiled this direct, direct was happening at all <laughs> alert others when eliminated as a noisemaker plant tracking devices on others as a tracker or turn invisible honestly though no i stand by it let's go should have been part of that sanrio Yu-Gi-Oh crossover Ooh, free update nice a monster army is at your command oh is this farmagia this is sweet i actually do i watched the marvelous little presentation thing uh last week and farmagia looks fun must rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop his vicious reign of the underworld. Raise monsters and lead them into the fight against the Magus's army. Plant seeds. Then yeah. Cultivate. And harvest them to make your buddies come to life. You, you're just growing animals on trees they and crops. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me just grow an and army of foxes, yeah? <laughs> fairy tale are <laughs> yeah fairy tale animal farm simulator everyone attack join the rebellion to stop the magus in farmagia launching on nintendo switch november 1st yo that is close What you what you hear thing would I have made Let's Go? I mean, considering the crossover was about Donkey you know Kong the classic Cats, series, originally released on Wii, is maybe something like Nintendo Harpy's Switch Pet Dragon Day. or the maybe maybe not Harpy Lady itself the because that outfit, <laughs> but maybe something like Harpy's Pet Dragon. Obstacles in the way, just stop them. So this is a port of a game that started on the Wii, got ported to the 3DS, and now they're just like, this is the last year of the Switch. Fuck it. <laughs> just port it. Just do it again. Have uh, Tropical Freeze and this one on the same console. Why not? And even hitching a ride on Rambi. There are plenty of transportation methods available. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a buddy for two-player local co-op. 80 appealing levels are in store, including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Donkey Kong Country Returns HD swings onto Nintendo Switch January 16th. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> really? January? Uh, send the game out to die, why don't you? But okay. I, I prefer Tropical Freeze over this game. I play Tropical Freeze on the Wii U. But, um... Oh! Princess Hilda? Is this new Zelda? Oh! Dragon Quest! Are we finally getting an update on the- WE ARE! LET'S FUCKING GO! Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D, or whatever, 2D HD, whatever it's called. Um... There's a rumor going around that production of this game has taken so long, 
It's actually extended into a full, like, remake uh, in HD 2D of Journey the first Ella. three Dragon Quest games. So it's no longer just the third one, it's one, two, and three, so I wonder if we'll see that here. Memorable encounters. It looks beautiful! Formidable monsters await. An iconic RPG remade in HD 2D. They really got mileage out of that Octopath Traveler engine, didn't they? Forge your Octopath path. 1 and 2, Triangle Strategy, this. They really got some mileage out of that engine. The legacy. Okay, so it's not a trilogy, huh? November! Jesus, everything's just like around the corner. What the fuck? I only have so much money. Oh, here we are. The rumors were true. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. I'm getting copyright claim for this music. There it is. 2025. Okay. The Erdrick Trilogy. That's cute. Nintendo Direct. <laughs> I'm gonna hold a slime and just make sure there's a slime behind me. Surprise. Surprise, sure. Yeah, we'll go with surprise. If they play three, one, and two in that order, like what, fucking Metal Gear? No, no, don't play Metal Gear or this in that order. He's obviously, he wants you to buy it all. Clip, obviously, but like, <laughs> just play the games in the order they came out, right? <laughs> oh, fuck! I forgot this was a thing. Say hello to Jaws. Ah, man Yeah, it's this game again. Is that Marty McFly? The world Allegedly. of Funko is coming to life in this action-adventure mashup for the ages. Play with more than 60 characters. Because everything's a multiverse and a crossover now. Movies, Everything. TV shows and more. Hmm. Use special skills and <laughs> okay. The Shaun of the Dead the bit popped me. That's... Their own unique puzzles, hidden areas, and familiar foes. Dinosaurs from Jurassic World and Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. They're certainly not... Chucky! Unbox the universe. When Funko Fusion pops onto Nintendo Switch... September 13th. September 13th. I... I don't care, but got a I'm sure someone's happy about it. Silly and strategic game. Here we go, Luigi's Mansion 2. Ready HD. For of Time for a 10-minute segment Summon on how Luigi's courage. Mansion works. And explore multiple mansions. Filled with goofy ghosts. Tricky traps. And other supernatural shenanigans. Are all three of these games Luigi's on the Switch Mansion now? 2 HD launches on Nintendo Switch June twenty. I thought I thought the first game got a um. I thought the first game got a HD. Re the Denpa Men? Find them, catch them, and lead them it's a new game in the Denpa Men series. What the fuck? Explore dungeons and battle monsters. What? Customize all sorts of outfits. Uh, there's a franchise I never thought I'd see again. Plus, up to four players in local co-op can team The 3DS game is so weird. The new Dempa Man is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. Free to play, huh? Okay. So it's a live service thing now? Yo! Metal Slug, let's go! Take control of your forces and pulverize. It looks good! 
It looks good. Choose from over 300 units with different abilities and build out your decks to Never heard of Dempaman? It came out like around the same time as like Miitopia and um, like Tomodachi Life. It was kind of another one of those games and it's weird, man. It, it's weird. Wait, that's a, that's available now? Shit. On an expedition uh, Darkest Dungeon, is it? Yeah, Darkest Dungeon 2. Okay. Roguelike RPG. Board your stagecoach okay. and set off across a decaying landscape to prevent an apocalypse. Fight off nightmarish fiends in turn-based combat. And upgrade your abilities after each deadly run. Darkest Dungeon 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 15th. Uh, begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Sure. More classic titles are on the oh, way. Oh, Perfect Dark. Oh, sweet! Play Link's classic 16-bit adventure and team up online to explore... Yo, Four Swords with online connectivity! This game can actually be fucking played now without four cards! Experience the remake of Samus' first adventure in Metro. They released that combo for, like, the 25th anniversary or the 20th anniversary of Zelda, like, forever ago. Nintendo Switch Online Mature Collection of Games. Turok, why would they Break go back? The dangerous lost land to stop the why would they play Turok? Why, why this version? And please, perfect dark, please, please, please. <gasps> Let's fucking go! Infiltrate a corporation. Let's fucking go! Perfect dark. I've only been calling for this for months. I guess now because we've seen the new Xbox version, it's been, they're like, yeah, it's time. Release the hounds. Oh, today? Oh. Set sail to save the day. What the fuck is this? Disgaea? This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. Join her on a journey to save her friend, Ash. Ash Ketchum from Pallet Town? In new installment in the Phantom Brave series. Take on tactical turn-based battles. Where you'll combine the phantoms you've befriended with objects in various ways. Truth Lasher. Combine phantoms with certain objects to maneuver them. Combined with a cannon to attack a large area. A fan to blow enemies around. Or combine with Morona herself for show-stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. It's adorable. The Lost Hero launches on Nintendo <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'll pick it up, but it's adorable. This one's going to take you for a ride. Marvel versus Capcom? Oh my god! <laughs> Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo. Oh my god! <laughs> one collection. Clash and what? Versus Street Fighter. <laughs> what? Marvel versus Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes. Take down the Kingpin. Yo! Side scroller the Punisher and more. Yo! Hit up training mode to polish your Oh, that's sick. Combos. Oh, that's sick. Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. Did not see this coming like a um, like, like at all. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork or listen to music. Sweet. Sweet. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Oh, oh, hook it to my veins. Just hook it to my veins. Uh. New Mario Party? The latest game. Okay. The Mario Party series takes place on an enormous island resort. Get ready to jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party minigames yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. Jamboree. First, let's see some of the new boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. 
take the escalators to travel between floors in Rainbow Galleria. Okay, that's fun. Use in-game coins to get a star at half that's price when fun. they're on sale. But act fast. Ride around and stay on track in Rollum Raceway. With the new Turbo Dice item, you can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and but the boards the look a bit more inspired. And things really get mixed um, up when the volcano blows Like Super Mario Party... Along with five the the boards, last Switch Mario Parties, like, Mario one was just a collection of minigames, right? And... Some mini games Super was... Challenges. Speed not great! <laughs> and more. Could have done with some more DLC. By gently shaking, or tilting your so... Controllers. This looks like it's got a bit of... Huh. And this looks like it's got a bit of effort put behind also, it. Coupathlon. Twenty players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon mode. What Compete the? against your rivals and aim for first place. Try your best to come out on top. Like Fall Guys Mario Edition. What the shit? Wait, there are even more new modes. The biggest Mario Party yet ah. will soon be underway when Super Mario Party Jamboree launches on Nintendo Switch October seventeenth. Something about there was a there was a joke there about uh, knives and emojis that I, I just I had and then it was gone. Just snap of the fingers, it was gone. <laughs> Dude, this direct is awesome. It's just so much like every there's so much variation in everything. Oh, <gasps> Zelda. Oh! Yes! That's a link to the past, Ganon. A link to the past three? I love it. it's in the, uh... Link's Awakening remake, um, I love it's in the Link's Awakening remake, uh, engine. That's so good! <gasps> Playable Zelda? We finally getting a playable Zelda game! Oh, that is beautiful! Yo! Yo, yo! Echoes of Wisdom. Oh, well, if that isn't the most fake fan y you know, fake Nintendo Direct leak <laughs> title ever. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. I feel like I've seen that on like 4chan boards back in the day as like, you know, my uncle works at Nintendo kind of leaks. <laughs> Show us gameplay, Onuma. Please. Well, there's, no, she won't fight with a sword. There's a staff in the logo. Gameplay! Holy shit, how close is this game? Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule. Strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff that is called creepy. The tri Rod, and the tri -rod. Sets on a journey across Hyrule. Tri as in Triforce, I'm guessing, but the, the fairy but is creepy. Tri Rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Once okay. you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create <gasps> echoes of tables to get a leg up. Wow, okay. Just so, like kind of like mini Breath of the you Wild mechanics. Boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water Like blocks. mini Breath of the Wild, you Tears of the Kingdom, like overworld design? Up to you. 
Oh, that's that's awesome. Echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. Stair of staircase of pens. You sure? Even Gerudo towns will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all. <laughs> you can also create echoes of monsters. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. Monsters oh, have that's different fun. abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. I'm I like this cloaked look for her. I, I really do. I like this cloaked look, and I see why Link started the game wearing the cloak. A, Breath of the Wild iconography. But B, you don't have to animate her hair. <laughs> right? You don't have to animate her hair. <laughs> the fate of the kingdom is <gasps> Deku Tree! In Zelda's hands. Yeah, Aonuma, can I have this, like, now? Can I have this now, please? I haven't counted them all yet. どの借り物をどのように使うかによって謎解きも。よ。プレイヤーの数だけ冒険が変わる。そんなゲームに仕上がっています。ゼルダの伝説。September <笑> 26th。That art is gorgeous. またソフトと同日に特別デザインに。I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. ゼルダ姫が主人公の新しい遊びをどうぞお楽しみに。それではお借りしたこの場は高橋さんにお返しします。青沼さん。よう。ありがとうございました。ゼルダの伝説シリーズ最新作に。Yo, <笑> Yo 10 out of 10. I don't care. 10 out of 10. We can turn the direct off now. Nothing is gonna beat that. Let loose and party. Certainly not stupid Ubisoft stuff that I'm gonna get claimed for the music on. So we're gonna lower this down. We're going to lower this down so uh, I don't get claimed for the music. Um, what I... Hey, Justin, welcome. But I want it. Yeah, I do. It'll go lovely with my Tears of the Kingdom switch. <laughs> but, you know... <laughs> I wonder if this game does well enough, will they give Zelda like a full 3D game? I don't want to be smiling for this. Um, uh, yeah, like I wonder like if, um, I wonder if Echoes of Wisdom does well enough, will they give Zelda like a proper 3D game? Um, liking the Direct, loving the Direct, it's pretty sweet. I a new Lego adventure is on the horizon. <laughs> oh yeah, this tickles me. It's the world of Horizon in Lego. Like I know it's a Lego game, but it tickles me that like a PlayStation Studios first party title is on the Switch at all. Like a first party franchise from PlayStation Studios is is on the Switch at all. That tickles me. Be careful. Swarms of machines lurking everywhere. The tall necks look amazing, I will say that. Like, I kind of do want the actual tall neck Lego set, but... Look, man, Lego's expensive these days. Like, the Zelda Lego that's coming out? Like, that's... Like, that's like 300 bucks! And customize her appearance with lots of outfits. Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon in two-player local or online co-op. Why is Aloy running around in a shark suit? She wouldn't even know what a fucking shark is. Great. A stray's journey begins. What? Stray? Okay, it looks a bit dialed back compared to the PS5 version. Sure. But that's awesome! It looks a bit dialed back. You can tell there's been some graphic deprecation to get it running on the console. But you know what? It's a dark game, muddy textures that they're going to blend together. It's, it's not going to... 
it's not gonna hurt the experience. Carefully climb to the highest height. Like I think that's very I think that's be more than serviceable. And stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. Think like a cat to make your way through the city. Careful though. Not everyone is excited to have you slinking around. I'd play Stray again. It's a very short game, so it's like I think when we played it before, like we were done in like what three or four hours? Back to safety. Even with side quests? So it's a very short game. Finds its way onto Nintendo Switch this winter. Not bad, not bad. Welcome home, Hobbit. Ew. If you've ever wanted to live like a hobbit from the Lord of the Rings, now a leisurely existence nestled away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. No, like I, I already used to be a lazy, hairy bastard. I don't need to do that again. I'm good. I don't need. She's <laughs> the dump truck of an ass. Um, <laughs> but. I, I, no, I don't need this. This is not for me. This is not for me, no. No, 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 This is not for me. Friendly hobbits and familiar faces. But I never smoked a pipe. Lies. Launches on Nintendo Switch this winter. I'm sure someone's excited for that. <gasps> oh! Both of them? Both of them? Ace Attorney spin-off games. Two? That was previously unreleased We're finally getting investigations too? As one collection. As the prolific prosecutor Miles Edgeworth take the case out of the Look at these new sprites. Crime scenes. Gather information by interviewing people and inspecting evidence. Then use the power of logic to solve challenging cases. Enjoy all new hand Francisca! from the original series character designer or swap to the original Oh, that's good. Oh, you can go back and forth. That's cute. Oh, that's so good. Where you'll find character art, music, including orchestral arrangements, and more. Past and present collide as you uncover. Von Karma! Let's fucking go! Ace Attorney Investigations collection. September 6th? <laughs> like 20 days before Zelda? On Nintendo eShop. Oh no! <laughs> Stop! I'm gonna be broke! Err. Raincoat 2? Raincoat 2? No, it's it's far too early for that! She's just dead. Okay. Well, sorry. Known assailants. Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. Takumi Samino. A mysterious school master. Ah, not Shinigami. While Takumi manages to get Looks like British Shinigami. Then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy. Last Defense Academy. With 15 other students. Oh shit! It's just it's Danganronpa with guns. Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies. For 100 days. And Tactical RPG Dungan Rumpa? What the shit? And the unavoidable loss of allies. Can Takumi survive this 100 day trial, colored by extreme and despair, what and the return to his normal life? <laughs> Dungan Rain Code. Dungan Rumpa present the 100 Line Last Defense Academy. 100 Line early next year. Early next year. Okay. Ooh. I don't have to worry about it this year. Oh, okay. Bark on a saga spanning generations. Okay. Holy shit! This a might be the best direct we've had in years. For everyone who said like this console is dead, the Holy Switch Two is coming out. There's the nothing the left. Switch They're gonna save everything for Switch Two. Yeah. No. <laughs> Returning saga features like glimmers to learn skills and formations to enhance abilities. 
turn-based battles have also evolved into timeline battles, where the action order is key. Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. How will you expand your empire? And in which order will oh, you so many tentacles. seven heroes? Hello. Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, Ooh, hello. the vengeful seven heroes Whoa. may emerge victorious. There's a lot of titty. Romancing Saga 2, Revenge of the Seven. Launches nice. Nintendo Switch, October 24th. October 24th. Not bad. フルリメイクで読み上げるロマンシングサガ2をどうぞお楽しみに。ここまで任天堂ダイレクトをご視聴いただきありがとうございます。さあ、最後の映像となります。Right, so, it's got to be Metroid Metroid Prime 4, right? Or does he didn't do Oh, sorry. We we have to delay this. You know, we have more we'll have more information soon and and just and put out to uh 2 and 3 HD. This has to be it. Yep, Samus running, uh, roaming around in a ship that looks like her. Guys. Seven years later, we might actually see this game in action. Yo, wow. It's gorgeous. Holy fuck, it's gorgeous. Yo. Release date. Is it going to be a cross-generation game, though? Are they going to bring out, like, a, a shinier version for the Switch 2? Or is this going to stay a Switch 1 title, as pro like, as it was originally intended? Silux? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Federation Forces Cannon! <laughs> Metroid Prime 4! Beyond! Beyond Thunderdome? Oh, oh, okay, hold on. 2 and 3 HD? 2 and 3 HD? Twenty twenty five. Okay. That's a holiday title for next year, right? That's going to be a holiday title or a, um... Or they're going to do what they did with Breath of the Wild and it will it will be a launch day title for the Switch successor. But if this is the Switch version? Dude! Like, Metroid Prime re uh, HD, uh, the, the, that remake that came out a while ago, that looked great. This goes beyond. I suppose, pun, pun intended, question mark? But Takahashi, thank you for, like, holy shit, that was awesome. <laughs> 43 minutes well spent. Yo. 43 minutes well fucking spent. I will say that. Damn! Right, guys, you need to start buying my merch so I can buy all these games, yeah? <laughs> um. Although, on a serious note, the uh, Pride Month merch, you know, is limited. So that that will go away like in a week and a half. So if you want a uh, pride themed merch, you better get on that now. <laughs> but holy shit. Um. Like that's a. <sighs> mugs, get your mugs. <laughs> um. That's fine. Sylvie, I'm joking. I never ex if anyone is ever kind enough to uh, 
pick up merch, that's amazing, but it's never expected. I, I, I am being facetious here. Um, but holy shit, like that's a, it's like a 10 out of 10 direct. You start off with a, you start off with a new Mario and Luigi RPG. The, uh, and we got a new Mario, a new Zelda, a new, uh, a finally confirmation on that, on a new Metroid. Um, a new Mario party. Fucking Ace Attorney Investigations is finally, is, is getting the HD treatment. So after this, Capcom is done. We have to, like, like, the backlog is complete once they get this out. And it's all on the, it's all aboard the train for Ace Attorney 7. Um, like, the, the great Ace Attorney uh, duology, the Ace Attorney Investigations duology, the Phoenix Wright trilogy, the Apollo Justice trilogy, it's all out at, on September 6th. The entire Ace Attorney, like, uh, franchise is on Switch and other consoles. So it's all aboard the hype train for Ace Attorney 7. Right, which we'll we'll probably hear we may hear something about next year. Uh the Marvel vs the, the Marvel versus Capcom just <laughs> them just pulling that out of the vault and going, ah sure, we'll renew the license for this, why not? Um it was way too early for Master Detective 2. Yes, but we got what it what ostensibly looks like Duncan Rampa 4. <laughs> so I can't complain. It looks that that uh the la what was it called the last line or the final line or something. Um, exploring to familiar. Where's it gone? Fumi Samino's students. Extreme. Banning gen. Extreme and despair and return to his normal life. The creators of Don Gun Rampa present the hundred lines. The hundred line. Any thoughts on British Shinigami? <laughs> the design is just Shinigami, but white, and instead of a crown, it's got a it's got a top hat and a cane. I, I <laughs> that's all I can say. You know, aesthetically, one's purple, one's one's like fucking Casper in a bowler hat. Um. So I I no not right now. We're gonna need like an actual trailer, character intro introductions, all of that stuff. Um, but the game looks fun. Tactical RPG Danganronpa. Sign me the fuck up for that. Sign me the fuck up for that. Um, like I I honestly thought we'd get like Somnium Files three before we got anything new so this is this is awesome to see that tokyo games is just churning th these out that is so fun and i am i'm delighted for them that they are just churning these out um you know so that's definitely one of my highlights of the stream hundred line uh ace attorney uh marvel versus capcom uh zelda echo uh uh, Echoes of Wisdom, uh, fucking the Denpa Men is such a random thing to bring back. Uh, the Dragon Quest games look, they look great. Um, in the HD two D style. Um, yo, Dirk, welcome in. Well, welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in, Derp. Soup! How are you doing, you lovable fucker? <laughs> uh, I'm, on, I'm on a high after watching this presentation. The announcements were so good. Um, if this is like the last direct to focus just on the original OG Switch before we start moving into successor territory, they are sending this console off with a bang. 
Uh, Farmagia looks great, but I mean, I had seen that on the Marvelous presentation, so, um, you know, the Sanrio game is, is, is a choice. Um, I'm liking that they're allowing Agretzko to finally mingle with Hello Kitty and the others. Um, Fantasia finally getting off Apple Arcade is fantastic. This Mio I uh, game, um, um, Memories in Orbit, I think it was called. That looks great. Um, I want to try more of that. Uh, Brothership looks gorgeous. Uh, the whole presentation, like, 10 out of 10. There's something in here for everybody. Perfect Dark is finally getting re-released through the NSO. Um, before, you know, in the run-up to, like, the, the, the real, the super realistic version on, on Xbox. That's, we're, we're in a very good timeline. We're in a very good timeline right now. And Raiders, you've come in at a very good spot because my name is Ami Borshak. I am hyper as fuck. And I'm about to start playing Yakuza 2 in a couple of minutes. And the hype is just going to keep going. So you guys have come in on a very good run. Um, there's like... A new, yeah, so new Mario RPG, new Mario Party, a new Zelda... Uh, Ace Attorney finally getting localized. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom being revived from the grave. Uh, fucking Danganronpa tactical RPG game. There's so much in here that I'm just like, yeah, get Fantasia. Uh, there's just so much in here. I'm just like, get, put, hook it to my veins. Just give it to me now. Just, just let me play it now. I don't want to wait. Like... <laughs> um... Between, um, fucking, like, Ace Attorney comes, like, the Ace Attorney Investigations comes out on September 6th, and then we get a brand new Zelda game 20 days later? Dude! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get ready for my British Shinigami plush. Right? I, yeah, I can see them doing that again, the way they did the Shinigami plush for Raincode. I can definitely see them doing that again for the little ghost thing that's in this game. Um, there's a lot to be excited about, excited about in there. I think, on the whole, the only two games I could have cared less about were Just Dance, because, ooh, be soft, and uh, The Hobbit game, because... I'm sure people worked very hard on it, but it's not for me. That's all. That's that is. That's where I'll. That's where I'll park that. That is where I'm gonna park that one. So. Yeah, we wowie. 